Hello everybody, welcome to a new video with me, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Um, I'm not usually that much of a hand talker, it's, I don't know why I'm doing that, it's very early, uh, it's 7am. So um, today's video is going to be on a pen that I've on loan from the pen family. And the pen is something that comes in this box, and, oh, it's facing the wrong way, it comes in this box. So. We're not gonna do the box stuff up here, as we now know, because I drop things and I don't wanna break somebody else's box of a pen that is on loan. So the pen, yeah, let me just realign it here. <laughs> it is a Bexley. This is the Bexley Golden Age. It's a limited edition pen, and this particular one is called the Triangles. There's also another one, and, um, they are Arco Verde, so there's some background to it. And I'm just gonna go through it so that you know, as we are talking about the pen, like some of the background. So, um, founded in 1993 by a handful of vintage pen enthusiasts, Bexley is synonymous with classic 1930s American design, reminiscent of the golden age of fountain pens. Bexley aims to produce American-made classic designs of impeccable quality. While many American pen brands have forgo forgone their true heritage by outsourcing production, we strive to make handmade fountain pens in America. Using classic materials like ebonite, um, this is all details we don't need like before 1920s, um, Bexley Pens established a loyal following for its smooth writing experience. So now it has moved to the creative vision of uh, the pen family and Bexley will continue to produce fountain pens for fans of American-made writing instruments for decades to come. So, the Golden Age was a time of opulence and Gatsby Art Deco was the signature design of the period. To pay homage, we use Arco Verde as the most representative celluloid material. The waves represent one of the most common Arco designs. This is not the waves. Um, and the, okay, there's something about the triangles. So, the triangles are on here. We'll look at it in detail because we can't see it here. So these are limited to 150 pens and material is celluloid. It has rhodium trim. It is an 18 karat gold nib. It has an ebonite feed and um, a converter, piston converter, uh, but it's captured. So like you can't remove it. Um, and the MSRP is 945 US dollars. So there we go. Now it is a, I don't wanna say small pen, but it's like compared to what the pen family usually produces, like the ASCs, like the Bologna extras, um, <laughs> this is relatively small um, on the girthier side, but very pretty because it's Arco Verde, very stunning. I like the rhodium trim. It, I think it complements the green, like the silver tones in the Arco Verde quite nicely. And uh, it, actually surprised me. I thought that it would not be comfortable. I would like, I wouldn't enjoy writing with it, but it's been actually very fantastic. So 945, um, not an inexpensive pen, but of course it is uh, a gold nib. It is Arco celluloid, which is highly sought after. Um, there's only a finite amount in the world now, and there's probably no chance of it being produced again. I'm not sure, but right now there's a limited supply. So you know, you get all that and then it's a limited to 150 pens. And so that's, like, I get it in that regard. Um, there's a lot, a lot of special stuff here. So really, really nice. That's one of the most important things about celluloid for me. I like to sniff them and see if it smells like the camphor. And so if you have a celluloid pen, smell it, open the barrel, smell it, smell the inside of the cap. Maybe don't do it in public. I don't know. Um, I, I do this in public, so I don't know. I'm still here. I haven't been arrested yet, but I really enjoy that smell. So it's like one of the things I really like about celluloid, aside from its obviously stunning beauty. So why don't we head down to the desk, see how it writes, look at it in detail, check out the packaging, um, all that stuff. So thank you to the pen family for loaning me this pen. And I will see you guys in a second. Okie dokie. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this part of the video, which is probably the more useful and interesting part. Um, so we have the Bexley Golden Age Limited Edition Triangles. It's a bit of a mouthful. So we're going to look at the packaging and then we'll look at the pen. 
So the packaging is actually quite large. Um, fine American made writing instruments, and that's basically it for the sleeve. It's got a little Made in the USA sticker. And um, I actually really like the color of this box. It's very pretty, um, like a warm ochre leather color. And so if we open it up, it's kind of nifty. Like a, it's a bit different. Oh, no, no way, sorry. It's a bit different. And in here we have your warranty card. This is on loan from the Penn family. So of course it's not filled out. And a bookmark. And I really like this little slot, it's very cute. Um, it's quite nifty. And then, I have the pen off. I mean, out of it already, so let's see. The pen would sit like so. So that's it, uh, very, cut the little padding, close it up. So it's very cute, and I, I think the box is really pretty, kind of useless, because you don't really get much with it, but that's okay. Um, that's fine, we're good. It's a nice looking box though. I do think it's interesting and um, I'm just smelling it. I don't know what the material is. I don't really know if it's actually leather, but it's cute. Like, I think it's kind of nifty to just have this, right? Like, it's interesting. Um, but let's move this out of the way because now we're gonna look at the pen. Okay. So, the pen. Let's zoom in for this. This is the Bexley, and um, it is a small pen, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I have a few other pens here that we can look at for comparison, so I'm just trying to realign the Arco. Okay, so at the top you have the Bexley logo. You have a arched Bexley clip. Um, it is springy, so you can use it. There's a lot of triangle details on the center band and on the, the cap band up here, and it is... Like, it's pretty, and it's rhodium trim, and I think the rhodium looks really good against the, the Arco Verde. And so, it's very pretty, right? Like, this is a very beautiful material. I don't own any Arco Verde, so it always excites me to see it. Um, I do own the brown, but that's it. So, uncapped. Um, the cap's pretty heavy, actually. The pen is... Like for me, it's a comfortable size, but I'm thinking if you have larger hands, it's gonna be just too small for you. This section is actually really comfy. All of this is nice. There's a bit of a ridge here, but I'm way far away from it. Um, there's the metal end, and but other than that, there's like really not much else. And it is lined, so the barrel is quite solid. And what a killer converter. So it's very, uh, pretty cool looking, right? It's not just like a standard boring converter. Uh, it looks pretty good. It is attached, so you may or may not like that. Personally, I like being able to detach everything so I can clean it very easily, but um, it certainly looks more interesting than just a standard converter stuck in there. So it's kind of nice. So let's close that up. Quite a few turns to close it. This is it in hand. For me, again, very comfortable. Um, even with the weight, even though it's heavy, it's not super heavy, and because it's not a huge pen, it works for me. The nib, 18 karat, it is um, laser engraved with the Bexley logo, and I do like the pattern, it's very nifty. It's like a cute circles, basically. Um, it does have an ebonite feed, so there we go, and it does not have the split that you find with the Magic Flex nib. So it's not a flex nib, it's just fine medium, and that's, like, so don't expect a flex. And so let's zoom out a little and we can just look at the difference in size. So there's the Bexley. Um, here we have the ASC Ogiva Extra. Um, I've got, a platinum preppy. So you can see in terms of size, it's actually longer than a preppy. Um, a Visconti Homo Sapiens, a Franklin Christoph Model 66, um, a Mont Blanc 149, an Omas 
Paragon, mm -hmm. the old style, and Omas Ojiva. And let's throw in a Sailor King of Pen. So you can see it's a small pen. Um, it's definitely, it's, it's a girthier pen, but it's short. So I'm thinking this is like a fantastic little like pocket pen, um, like the, the nicest pocket pen you'll ever have basically. Um, if not a pocket pen, like a really fancy Hobonichi like planner pen, right? Cause this will fit in your planners and like in terms of the length and stuff, right? It's like a nice little fancy planner pen. So there you go. For me, I have no issues with the size. It works fine for me. I was a little taken aback. I thought it would be a full size pen and I guess it is. It's just not oversized, which is what I've come to expect from the pen family, like with the ASEs and, um, and it's similar materials like from the wall ever sharps and stuff, right? So I was just expecting a really large pen, which it's totally okay. I'm okay with this. So let's do some writing. Again, super comfortable section. I actually like how it feels in hand. It feels good. Let's see how it writes. So we have, it's actually a really nice writer. Um, what is it called again? Golden Age. This is the triangles. It is a limited edition to, of 150. Um, the nib is an 18 karat, like fine medium. I'd say more on the medium side. Um, and the ink is Mont Blanc Turquoise. Sorry, the new turquoise, which is definitely more on the green side than turquoise. Um, like the tur green turquoise, not blue turquoise. And so let's do some wetness. It's a pretty wet writer. Um, I like it. It's really quite well adjusted, well tuned. That's, I'm pretty sure that's just me because I'm smearing oils everywhere. Yeah, it's just me. Um, in terms of line variation, I'm gonna be very, it's a pretty firm nib. So even very gently applying pressure, it's basically just a firm nib. It's not rock solid, but it doesn't really yield. It's not a magic flex, it's not bouncy, it's just firm. Um, let's see, let's do some. Hello, hello. Happy. I'm just writing random words. Bexley. So <laughs> it's wet. It's a wet writer. Um, I actually really like how this nib writes. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just rotate to someplace less oily and try not to write everywhere. I mean, try not to touch everything on the page. So I pulled my sleeve down. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, It's definitely improved without my hands being oily. One skip, no big deal. So, um, there you go. This is all drying. It's still, it's definitely a wet rider, right? Um, yeah, there you go. That's the Bexley. This is the first modern Bexley I've used. Um, so it's been interesting. It surprised me. I like it more than I thought I would. And because I like the size and weight of it and I really like the nib, it's very pleasant. It has a touch of feedback. It's not super smooth, not like glassy. And um, it's just an easy writer. So there you go. That's the Bexley Golden Age Triangles.
again, on loan from the Penn family, so thank you to them for loaning me this pen. I hope you guys have found this video helpful or useful or something, and if not, perhaps just entertaining. If you did enjoy, um, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. You can find me as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, interest, interest, um, Instagram, Pinterest, and Patreon. And uh, that's all, folks. Take care, and we will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.